In this demonstration, we'll show you how to effectively conduct an oriented search in a residential structure fire using a thermal imager. But before we dive in, let's redefine our approach. Instead of relying on the outdated concept of survivability profiles, we need to shift our focus towards identifying searchable space. Attempting to determine survivability in unpredictable circumstances is unreliable, so our priority is to locate and isolate the areas we can search. In cases where the space is not initially occupiable, we must make it occupiable. Now, let's move on to determining where to begin our search. To maximize efficiency, we should start searching the areas closest to the thermal threat. If the search crew decides that a door provides the best access, they should perform a technique called the hook and look. During this process, the crew leader, equipped with the TI, will assess the type of room, egress options, and the direction of the search. While the search member conducts the hook and look, the crew leader should scan low, middle, and high. It is important to verbally communicate with potential victims as numerous successful rescues have been achieved through firefighters actively calling out to them. Isolate the room promptly by closing the door as this decreases temperatures within the space and eliminates the flow path. When scanning low, pay attentive to potential victims as 39% of victims are found on the floor. Moving on to the middle of the room, you can identify the room's type based on its contents, potential egress opportunities, and determine the direction the search member should proceed in. The crew leader will then provide a TED report, which includes the type of room, egress options, and direction. For instance, imagine you have a bed on the back wall, a window on the right wall, and a closet on the left. In this case, the crew leader would instruct the search member towards the bed. Simultaneously, the crew leader will transmit a priority traffic and a CAN report over the tactical radio channel stating the crew's conditions, actions, and needs. By following these guidelines and employing effective communication, we can enhance our search efforts and increase the chances of successful rescues in residential structure fires.